As a tax professional, you know the value of tracking clients' depreciable assets, as well as calculating depreciation, generating reports, and planning for future years. ATX gives you the fixed assets form to help you do all of this. Use this basic asset depreciation tool to enter assets, and ATX calculates prior and current year depreciation, tracks gains and losses when the client sells property, tracks AMT and state depreciation, and more. To begin adding depreciable assets, add Form 4562 to the return. Click Add Forms, find Form 4562, and add that form. ATX loads Form 4562 and the Fixed Assets form. Click Fixed Assets. Before you start entering assets, you may want to set global settings for this tax return. To do that, click the Asset Global Settings tab. Here, you can change settings for Display, Calculations, and Makers Federal Elections. You can also change settings for Bonus Elections. Use State Calcs to select a different resident state as needed. This changes the State Treatment column and State Default calculations on the Depreciation 179 tab. Use the Tax Year Information tab in a business return to edit short year information. Remember that these settings only affect this return, so they won't change any other return settings. Then you can start entering the assets. Click Asset Entry and type the basic asset information. First type the description, then type the date the client placed the asset in service. Remember to fill both these boxes because ATX only saves the asset if they're completed. Next, select the activity. ATX displays a list of all of the available forms in the return, such as Schedules E, F, or other activity forms in an individual return. If there is more than one form of that type, make sure you select the correct number. In this example, the client has two Schedule C, and this asset belongs to the second one, so we'll select the second Schedule C. Select the correct category for this asset. This is a vehicle, so we'll select Vehicles. Select the subcategory for the asset. For this asset, we'll select 5-Year Qualified Non-Personal Use Vehicle. Make sure you review the other boxes in the Basic Asset Information then move to the Depreciation in Section 179 tab. Here, type the cost or basis. Type any Section 179 deduction and other information. ATX calculates the recovery period, method, convention, current, prior, and next year depreciation based on the information you've already entered. ATX also calculates the 50% special depreciation allowance if the property qualifies. If the client does not want to take it, change this setting in Asset Global Settings. ATX calculates the AMT recovery period, method, and convention based on the asset category and subcategory you selected, and calculates state asset information based on the rules you set up in the State Calcs tab. When you enter an asset, you may have a question about how ATX calculates the depreciation. To see information on how ATX calculates depreciation, Click any field in the Asset Entry tab, and then press Control, Shift, and F12. ATX displays a dialog box that gives you the explanation, including the depreciation, basis, rate, and holding period. ATX also provides Fixed Asset Manager, also known as FAM, and that's an advanced asset depreciation program that works with ATX and provides even more capabilities than the ATX Asset Form. If you need more than basic functionality for your client's assets, talk to your account manager about purchasing Fixed Asset Manager. You can use additional features, such as adding more than one state treatment, additional, more detailed reports, printing asset reports to Paperless Plus, integration with Client Accounting Suite, and more. See the accompanying documentation for more information about Fixed Asset Manager.